Okay, so really, really, really quick. The word that God has given me for this season has been wait. I've been saying it for quite some time now. It has been wait. And that's not just for one specific thing in my life, but for many things. He's just told me, wait, I'm getting you ready. But what he has shown me is that that is not just a me word, but it is a word for the entire body of Christ. If you're hearing this, I advise you to take heed and maybe reconsider how you've been moving. God has shown me that there is power, favor, and blessing in waiting. And he has taught me how many people are not waiting correctly because waiting is more so about how you wait. Um, for example, why did it take the Israelites 40 years to enter into the promised land? It's because they weren't really trusting in God. They were complaining. They were frustrated because things weren't going the way they wanted them to go. They couldn't see how God was actually sustaining them through the journey. Oftentimes people think they're waiting on God, but they're not resting in him. Resting is a part of the wait. Sometimes people think they're waiting, but they're still angry and frustrated during the wait. They're complaining and actually doubting God during the wait. So they end up taking matters into their own hands and they rush things. And when you rush things, um, what you're really doing is instead of saying, Lord, your will be done for my life. Now you're saying, I don't agree with your will. But what if we trusted God so much that we found joy and contentment in the wait? Because we know that every promise that God makes will come to pass in the appointed time. Um, the appointed time. Like I put emphasis on that because the appointed time is so important. Because the appointed time is for you. It's for your benefit. When God says wait, it's for you. So it's like how dare we become frustrated with the plan that God has for our life. Waiting in faith is sometimes difficult because we are um, a I want it right now type of people. But the wait is so worth it. I don't have my best interest at heart, even though I may believe that I do. And the reason why I don't have my best interest at heart is because I war with my flesh. Like, I do sometimes what my flesh wants to do. Nobody but God has your best interest at heart. So when he says, wait, you're not ready yet. Listen, be obedient because it's for you. God is such an intentional God. And that's what we have to remember. Those who wait on the Lord will truly be blessed more than you could have ever imagined. So if there is something that you've been praying for, um, something that you know is for you, um, sometimes God tells us what's up, but we doubt it because of what it looks like, or we don't want to receive it because we don't agree with it. But I'm telling you, he didn't say no, he said wait. So I'm going to say this, for those who are truly waiting on the Lord, I don't mean those who are doing their own thing. Um still choosing what they want to fill the void that they're trying to fill um thinking that okay I'm gonna do this but we'll see how it works out we'll see what God does you know what I'm saying I mean like those who are truly waiting on the Lord those who are not taking matters into their own hands those who heard God say wait you're not ready yet I'm getting you ready trust the process for those people the wait is about to be over